Hello everyone, my name is Pixorifs and welcome back to Skyblock 116. I hope you guys are having a good day. In the last episode, we fought the dragon and triumphed and we got ourselves not just the dragon egg, but also an extra trophy item, a brand new lava source that we can use in the world. And previously in Minecraft, lava has not really been something that you can reproduce in a skyblock setting because there is no abundant lava available to you. And it's kind of exciting thinking about the future of skyblock at this point and how 1.17 is going to introduce dripstone that can help us make renewable lava if you haven't checked out the snapshots yet been doing a couple of videos on those links in the cards and in the description probably as well but yes we have a brand new dimension to explore in skyblock 116 at this point because we can head out to the end and the end is likely to be much the same as it is in a vanilla minecraft world which means it is a source of two important things for us Elytra and End City loot, which includes shulker shells, but in this case for Skyblock, includes diamonds. Yes, now we have unlocked the first of our end gateways, we can head out towards the outer end islands and find ourselves an end city, hopefully. And we've got lucky with the generation of this gateway. The island generated in a really odd way, actually, where it was kind of offset from some of the arena elements here. You'll notice that there are large gaps in the island here and there, but luckily it seems like a lot of the land mass has shifted slightly over this way, and that means that our first end gateway here isn't even something I need to be worried about purling onto the side of this and falling into the void. I can probably just huck an ender pearl at it from here. Yeah, there we go. That's the thing I was worried about. If we ended up over the void, then that's a problem. Oh, and there was an endermite from that one as well. That's pretty funny. But if I aim, excuse me, enderman, if I aim about there, there we go. We get ourselves the remote getaway advancement and we are on a tiny little island out here in the void. But as the end islands load around me, we should hopefully start to see end cities coming into view. I have my render distance turned up pretty high, so... With any luck, we'll start to see some cities here and there, and if not, we can always keep moving and find one. And as usual, when you're raiding the end, you need to worry about a couple of things. First of all, having blocks to bridge between these islands, because there are giant gaps between them, and it's not exactly possible to fly between those yet. We could use some ender pearls, but I do want to save those in case we need to use them to get out of trouble. So bringing some blocks with you, or harvesting some blocks from the land around you, if need be, is likely to be the best thing to do. I've also brought a bucket of water so we can deal with some endermen and I brought some wood. Now the wood is going to be very important because if you don't have wood you can't make yourself a crafting table or some chests in order to make shulker boxes and with the amount of loot we are hoping to get out here in the end today we will probably need to make some shulker boxes and bring them back with us. On that note we also have a looting sword so we can optimize the amount of shulker shells we will be getting hopefully and I've also got a couple of other bits and pieces. I've still got all of my equipment from the dragon fight, a silk touch pickaxe in case I can get an end a chest because I don't even have one of those in the overworld yet. <laughs> I think I could probably make one as soon as we got hold of blaze powder, but it is nice to grab a couple from the end cities as well as you go. And I made sure to bring an adequate supply of food because nobody really likes eating chorus fruit and teleporting around everywhere every time you need to eat something. So I think I'm just going to do a little bit of end exploration here. We're going to make our way out into the end barrens and see if there are any cities in the local area and hopefully I'll be able to bring you guys back in when we find our first end city. And there it is coming into view and thankfully it is one that has a boat so we are striking lucky pretty early we actually just came over from over there it's really not that far from the portal that generated I don't recall exactly if the end gateways generate the same every time or if you end up with a slightly different gateway each time so it might not be possible to find this exact end city in your skyblock playthrough but it'll be out here and oh hello do we have two end cities opposite each other that's pretty cool, although that one seems like it is a thumb. It's what I tend to call the ones that really don't have much going on. They're just like, you know, a thumbs up from the game, just sticking out of there. But it looks like that one may also, yep, be leading to a boat. Amazing. Okay, so let's raid this city first. That's pretty cool, actually. I'm really excited that we found two cities like that, because we can get one elytra and then grab a backup by flying over to the other ship. But of course, we've got to raid this one the legit way, so let's make our way in. Looks like the shulkers on the door have been displaced elsewhere, and we get that advancement for making it into the city at the end of the game. So 
Let's get our first shulker shells. Let's grab ourselves a little bit of loot from this place and let's make our way over to that island where we can get our wings. And here is a kind of useful tip when you're dealing with shulkers. If you've got a looting sword on you and you feel like swapping it into your offhand so you can shoot the shulkers with a bow, when they are vulnerable to a bow, which they are whenever they're open, you can actually still score the looting effects on it by having the looting sword in your offhand. So if you don't mind swapping out a shield and being unable to block the shulker bullets for a little while, you can actually get the looting effect on a ranged attack as well as a melee attack, which I find pretty useful for taking on these end cities the first time around, because a lot of the time you'll find yourself shooting at shulkers on the underside of structures or stuff that's just at a, a hard angle for you to reach, especially in these larger rooms that you'll find shulkers attached to all of the walls. It can help to have a ranged option as well, but you also want to get the most shulker shells that you can with looting. So it's probably time to bust out that technique in here once I've floated my way to the top of the room. There we go, we managed to get rid of a few of the shulkers in the process. We've got a couple of shells waiting for us down there, but first of all, we've got these chests to open, and there they are, my friends. That right there is how you get yourself your first raw diamonds in a skyblock world by finding and raiding an end city because that will get us an enchantment table and then some realistically we've got all of the diamond armor we need anyway <laughs> but it's kind of bizarre to have the diamonds advancement pop when we are in the end for the first time but yes that is how you get hold of some extra diamonds in the world and look at that we've got an efficiency three unbreaking three and mending diamond pickaxe for our trouble as well very very nice hey i wouldn't mind a saddle and some horse armor as well maybe we can turn that into some equipment for a horse and a respiration three helmet not a bad haul all things considered and we've still got a couple of shulkers down there the main thing here of course is to make sure we don't take too much fall damage on the way down but luckily we can either use a water bucket to get down here or parkour our way around the tower on the way down we can use the end rods to traverse this place like it's a series of staircases probably ender pearl down there to make sure we get that shulker shell and we'll take out the rest of these guys using the offhand looting trick so having got four shulker shells already i'm going to pop down a crafting table and tidy up my inventory a little bit because yes having a shulker box will let us do that let's put all of the loot that we've got from the end city in here and of course we can preserve that by throwing it all in an ender chest a little bit later i might also put one of the slow falling potions in there and a few of the blocks that i'm not using right now although it's handy to keep a few of these blocks on me like like I said, for bridging and that kind of thing, especially since we all need to bridge out a little way towards that end ship in a few moments' time. And there it is. I still have a bunch of the city to explore, but we can even see the other boat from here. That's pretty cool. All right, well, I'm going to aim high above the mast of the ship here, throw my ender pearl, and hopefully we should land somewhere amid the deck. Perfect. All right. Well, <laughs> you can obviously bridge over to the ship if you feel like that's a little safer, but once you get in here, just got to take out this shulker over here on the prow and... Oh, <laughs> he teleports behind me. Strategic, but I got you. There we go. We got ourselves our brand new shulker shell and an elytra for our trouble. The sky is the limit. At long last, we got ourselves some elytra, and this should make navigating our skyblock landscape a lot easier. Now, let's take a quick look in here for some extra loot. A fire protection on breaking three helmet. Not too terrible, not too shabby. A few diamonds as well, and ooh, a fortune three pickaxe. I don't think I have one of those even back in the overworld. Another smite sword for the piglin farm. That's looking promising, and I can throw a bunch of this extra loot in here once again. We've also got the very important addition of the dragon head over here so let me grab one of those real fast <laughs> always good to have a bunch of these hanging around very nice and let's get the last two shulkers on the boat before we return over there and i think there should be at least one more set of loot chests at the top of that middle tower there Okay, tower number two has been conquered. I'm just trying to get the last of the shulkers here, and uh, luckily I have feather falling on my boots as well, so if I end up taking a little bit of damage, not the end of the world. There we go. Let's get rid of this one once it opens up. Hello? Anyone home? There we go. All right, so we got most of the shulkers taken care of there, and I think a couple might have teleported outside, but it's our turn to teleport up here, and oh, yes, that's looking good. That's looking like a great haul of diamonds from this. We'll get... The chest plate and the shovel there as well. Some mending iron boots, not the best, but we can always grindstone the enchantments off some of this if we just want some extra XP. As you can see, though, not exactly hurting for XP these days, so we're not too worried about that. One thing I didn't mention earlier is that you can also use the bow from your offhand as well. If you want to keep the melee swing on the left click and the bow shot on the right click, you can kind of be a double threat at that point, but once again, 
I prefer to have the shield equipped when I can, just so I can block those shulker bullets when I don't want them to be useful to me. There we go, let's throw that in here. 18 diamonds is really quite good so far. It means we've got a bunch of loose diamonds we can play around with. Let's pop the brewing stand in there as well. And so far we have 10 shulker shells. All right, I might need to actually make those into another shulker box at this point because we are clearly all full up on this one and I imagine there will be a little bit more loot over in the other city, at least in the ship that's out there will have a couple of loot chests that we can grab some extra unstackables from. Let's put the rest of this in here. Slabs and stairs and all other things besides. And looking at this, I think, yeah, we'll, we'll probably keep one shulker box just handy and empty so that we can grab a couple more things if we need to. Strolling out into the other arms of the city, I found this room here, which seems to have an ender chest in it, which is ideal, perfect for what we want. And I do need to go and collect the shulker shells from that other tower before they despawn, but we should have plenty of time to do that on our way back down. And I think I might come back up here to one of the taller towers and use them to glide across to our next destination, that other boat. Because, of course, I haven't brought any fireworks with me. That was the one oversight in this trip, was that I didn't bring any fireworks so we can use the elytra by boosting, but hopefully that shouldn't be a problem and we should be able to make it over there anyway. Oh, another mending pickaxe, a little bit more diamond loot in here, and a very nice helmet, actually. That's pretty good. Okay, so we can now start putting some of the loot and stuff in the ender chest because... As you will know, once we have the Silk Touch pickaxe, we can just take the Ender Chest with us and use that any time. That's very, very handy to have. I've got a couple of shells to pick up from around here, and then I'll stash those as well, and we'll make our way over to the second end ship. Alright, I think I have this place well and truly cleared out at this stage. We've got ourselves 18 shulker shells plus two shulker boxes, of course. Let's don our elytra for the first time, and let's make a trip out to some of those other end cities because I think from here I should hopefully be able to get up on the roof and glide over to that other one. And the, the trick to this is going to be getting up onto the roof here and taking a look, sizing up the gap that we've got going on there, which looks like a pretty sizable gap to me. I wonder if we can gain some extra height by drawing the attention of one of the shulkers over here because if we get a little bit of extra levitation on the go that can mean potentially a better glide angle for us where are you oh there you are oh we got lucky there we managed to land right in front of it okay well let's see if we think we can get a little bit of extra height from this one just by provoking it into firing a couple more pellets in our direction there we go we got a couple to work with and if I glide over it a little bit more, fire one more up here and let's see if we can catch that levitation effect. Yes, perfect. Okay, let's see if we can glide out there from here. I'm going to open up my wings as soon as the glide effect wears off, which should be about now. Perfect. Okay, there we go. We've got an angle of approach and I should hopefully be able to finesse the glide a little bit so that we can land on the ship over here. Obviously, right now I don't have unbreaking on the wings, so I'm a little bit worried about that, but not to worry. We made it nice and easily. The durability is not going to wear off that quickly on these. And there they are, our second set of wings for this video. Fantastic. I just have to dodge my way around the shulker and collect our prize. There we go, set of wings number two. And what do we have in here? Actually much worse loot than the other ones, but hey, four diamonds again. Not going to sniff at that exactly. And we'll take the chests and stuff as well, because we might as well bring those in case we want to make a few more shulker boxes. We can't really do a whole lot of exploring beyond this because we don't have the rockets. I would want to boost myself with Elytra and fly out to other islands. But the fact that we found two end cities back to back that had Elytra is going to be a really useful thing. It's going to mean we can have a backup to rely on if we need it later. And while the city is a very small one, it at least looks like it's got one of the towers with the loot chests at the top, so we might as well glide over to this one as well. See if we can get through the hoop. Yes, we can. Fantastic. Okay. And now we should be able to loot a few more of these shulkers in here, grab our last loot chests for the episode, and make our way to the nearest end gateway, which... I honestly don't know where it's going to be at this point. <laughs> hey, we got some more diamonds in there and another diamond pickaxe. Beautiful. What's in this one? Unbreaking leggings. All right, I'll take that plus a little bit of extra gold as well. All of this can pack away into my shulker boxes, which will go safely back in the ender chest. And we can disenchant some of that 
Iron Gear later when we're back in the overworld. Not a bad haul, though. I'm really happy with these two cities and the amount of loot we've gotten from them. We might just tidy up the shulkers in here and find our way back to an end gateway. Well, we don't have the benefit of shulker assistance this time around because I think I've dispatched all of the shulkers in this end city now, but at least we can use the mast of this ship out here. Oh, maybe. Oh, 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 oh that was a close one. I was a little bit worried we were going to hit the side there and I'd have to glide on down, but we can use the mast of this ship, climb the top of this and probably launch ourselves from here for a nice easy glide back in the direction that we came, which was out over that way, but I think if we head a little bit closer towards center, we should find the end portal that we came through in the first place, because I don't see any more gateways around here. Those bedrock gateways are kind of few and far between out here in the void, although you do find them occasionally on useful islands, and they are often your ticket back home if you've been traveling out really far in the end. So let's <laughs> go into third person just to make sure that this is working right. And yep, there we go. The wings are open and we are gliding our way home. I do like to keep a closer eye on the durability of my elytra when I'm flying around without having unbreaking and mending on them. But you know what? It's looking all right so far. And I think if we head back in this direction, somewhere over here, we should start to find the gateway that led us to the end in the first place. And Hopefully that should take us back to the central island. Yep, there it is, folks. There it is. And instead of using my final ender pearl to go back through the gateway, what I think I'll do is play it safe and use some of the wood that I've brought with me, even though we didn't really need to use all that much of it in the end. I'm going to make myself some trapdoors here, and we're going to go back through the end gateway in a slightly easier way. Let's pop up here with the cobblestone, and we can place a couple of blocks either side of the gateway like this. One second while I get up here. There we go. We'll put one there and one there. Come down one block and place a trapdoor on the side here, and that should allow us to hop up onto this block. There we go. Crawl in through this corner, and we are back in the end. Perfect. Underneath the gateway that we came in by. Really, really good stuff. And I'm really happy that we managed to survive our first trip to the end and get ourselves two sets of elytra and all of that loot besides. Let's head back to the central skyblock hub of the world and unpack everything that we have found. Alrighty, back in the overworld and let's take a look at all of the stuff that we got. I had four shulker shells on me, of course, because we had a little bit of an encounter with Shulkers before we left that last city. We've got the dragon head here as well. Let's lay out the loot. I really like unpacking all of this stuff after we are done. So we have a bit of iron stuff that I'll probably just stash in a chest over here to be disenchanted once we've got ourselves a grindstone set up somewhere around here. I think I have one in the, the villager hotel. So we'll get this all out of the way and just take a look at the diamond stuff because that's the stuff that's really nice to have around and handy in case we need some backup gear. Let's take a look. Right, we've got ourselves... That was my original chest plate because I've been wearing that for a little while, but we also... I don't think we have another chest plate. Okay, fair enough. We have an Unbreaking 3 protection for helmet and some Unbreaking 3 leggings. That's nice. We've got a couple of very nice pickaxes there, one with mending that we could always combine with one of the others. A Fortune 3 shovel is really not something that I use all that much unless I really want flint from gravel, which, you know, I might here and there. Uh, let's take a look at the other stuff, though. 28 diamonds is really the score from all of this. I'm going to throw the rest of the shulker shells in there. we got 23 of those as well. A Respiration 3 helmet and a fire protection. That's not bad. A smite sword could be good for a little bit of backup in the uh, the zombie pigman farm. We've got an efficiency 3 mending on breaking 3. And look at that, an efficiency 5 fortune 3 pickaxe without us even having to enchant or combine any of that. Super cool. You love to see it. We've got an uh, efficiency for Unbreaking 3 shovel as well, and even stuff like extra dragon heads and saddles, horse armor, and a couple of other bits and pieces besides. I call that a pretty successful trip to the end, folks, and I'm sure you would agree. But I think that is where we're going to leave it for this episode of Skyblock. We just made a little bit of progress out there getting ourselves some shulker boxes, some elytra, some quality of life stuff, and of course, diamonds. So now I guess if we wanted to, we will make ourselves an enchanting table. Do I have any obsidian around? I've only got a couple. Okay, we can go back to the end and farm some more if we want to, or barter some more with the piglins, I suppose. But we've also got an ender chest, which means a little bit more portable storage besides, and I think that's a really nice thing to have in a world like this. Folks, thank you so much for watching this episode of Skyblock 116. I do hope you've enjoyed it. My name has been Pixorist. Don't forget to leave a like on the episode for me if you liked it. Subscribe if you want to see more, and I'll see you guys soon. Take care. Bye for now.